What's up everybody? So, Russ with RWG Research and this is Heavy Trash Day Experiment. This is round number two. This is day number two to two and it is uh, the 25th of uh, April and that is in 2012. Alright, so uh, what I do, Heavy Trash Day, this is the second video. Go watch the first one for what I do, but go around Heavy Trash Day, collect stuff. Uh, try to just usually find magnet wire out of TVs. And I'm going to give you a little show show of what I got here this time. So, I actually went the day after, uh, or I should say the day of, that they went, when they come pick up Heavy Trash Day. The best time is to go right when they're, you know, the day before where they're throwing it all out into the street. And uh, instead I went during the after the fact. So, it was so-so, but I found a lot, there wasn't very many people driving around collecting stuff, which was good. And so I found the, the late guys, the guys who threw stuff out late. I found uh, all the, the, the TVs and stuff that the late guys threw out. So I'll show you what I got. Quota is usually five for five. So five days, five TVs a day, that gives me enough magnet wire to last me a really long time. A little bit of work to get it out of the TVs, but if you didn't know, there's a bunch of magnet wire in the back of the TVs. Um, so five for five. Um, don't know if I'm going to be doing any more days of this. Possibly one more. But here's what it looks like right this moment. Kids are outside playing, not mine, somebody else. I just probably got hit by a bee. Alright, so here's number one. It's kind of sunny out here. One there. I found another one of these with this ring on here. So that's awesome. So there's two. That's a good one there. Three. That's a real good one there too. Four. Another real good one. Right there. And... Oh, how many I count? Five? Yeah, well, there's five there. One, two, three, four, five. So, um, for instance, this one, I mean, this is actually one continuous piece. So, it's really, really, really long. Um, this one's kind of puny. And uh, it feels like aluminum, so that one, you know, that kind of sucks. But, hey, uh, one thing I did find, I think it was that TV there. No. No, it's that one. That one right there. See how big and wide that thing is? That was out of a really cool widescreen tube TV. Um, it actually had HDMI inputs. I don't recommend seeing, or I don't, I don't remember seeing too many of those HD uh, uh, tube type TVs. So um, some of the electronics I gathered was uh, right here. And I, gra I gathered some of this for a few reasons. Um, really, I've just been scrapping out some of the wire and uh, might as well grab it while I'm there. So for instance, all that regular wire right there, you know, that can be scrapped. I don't know why I grabbed those. I shouldn't have. I already got too many of those sitting here. Alright, so this is some of the steel I got out of the junk. Some of the aluminum out of that one monitor I found yesterday. A few other pieces there. Now I did have a bunch of TVs laying out back and uh, I went ahead and scrapped those too. So there was one. It's a weird looking one, ain't it? two, three, four, and eh, there was probably five back there that I had laying around. Two monitors and three TVs is what it was. So I took them apart. That's where some of that came from. Um, on my heavy trash day, today, actually this was yesterday, but it was today's, I uh, found another really big mirror. That's a pretty nice one too. Uh, but I really don't know, well I have some plans for these mirrors, but you for now, we'll see what happens. Found some Christmas lights, pure copper wire take the bulbs out and you can scrap that here's the scrap pile that I got out of uh, all the TVs that I taken apart so far and you know the stuff isn't really worth a whole whole lot but you know I'm gonna say there's two pounds there and if it's I don't know a couple bucks a pound you know you get five six bucks out of that doesn't sound like much but I'm taking the stuff apart I might as well just take it apart right now this is what's gonna make you laugh yeah look at this crap um, <clears throat> these yokes, I went ahead and just took the ones off today that I've been taking. Now, I can take the ferrite out of there, but the copper, look at this one's wrapped. It's got wires wrapped in all sorts of dumb places. Anyway, these are yokes, 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 yokes. Yeah, uh, the couple of TVs I did have had uh, tape players in them and uh, VCRs. So these make really good uh, balanced wheels for building uh, magnetic pulse motors and stuff like that. Um, you can just machine apart, pop it right on there, and nice and round. You already got a hub made and everything. Here's a pile of TVs, flybacks. Um, yeah, so you know. Uh, now I do have a question for you guys. I need somebody who's uh, kind of a 
uh, maybe a TV technician or something like that that uh, used to work on the rear projection TVs okay I have a question for you I'm looking to know what this particular part is and somebody out there if you can tell me what this part is that would be helpful alright this is what the part is this is out of a rear projection TV okay the old school ones and basically this is the high voltage splitter the main flyback is here goes into the in on this thing there's a number or a name on there goes into the end and the other three are out it goes to each one of these monitors uh, here's the part number and here's the prongs that are going into it there's three prongs two reds and a brown it says CR and nothing so what I'm asking is is what this is now if this is a uh, nothing more than um, a splitter then what's up with the extra wires here why do we need the extra wires I was thinking this was some sort of a phase control maybe like a three phase control or something in here to phase it out uh, but if you know what this is let me know because I have an idea for some experiments experiments with this thing um, the other thing is this here this is the tuning uh, for the colors alright and a few other things but this is a high voltage device as well each one of these wires uh, go to that in a back to the back here and I uh, kind of wonder what that is too. It actually is the, the voltage for the gun itself and you can tune it. Anyway, I was thinking about using some of this stuff, but I really need to know what it, how it works. So if you know what this piece is, I'll give you a part number on this as well. Right there it is. That's the focus. And uh, I was thinking about using some of this stuff for, for some high voltage tuning. To be able to tune some high voltage. So that's actually what I was thinking about doing. Um, so I wanted to show you something real quick about this magnet wire. Now I was telling everybody in this video that uh, you can find magnet wire in these TVs. I was going to make this a separate video but I'll just add it onto this one. So basically here is what looks like inside this spool right here. Alright. This is the magnet wire. This is how much magnet wire is inside of this taped up bundle okay um, I counted these I counted around 70 something strands alright and this stuff is taller than me okay you can't see that but I'm stepping on it alright so let's just say I'm five foot which I'm, I'm more than five foot we'll take five feet alright five feet okay and we're going to take 72, I think is what I counted, strands. 72 times 2, because I got one up and one down, is going to give me 144. So 144 times 5 is 720. So roughly guessing, which there's more on here because it's not 5 foot, it's taller. We're going to say about 720 feet of free copper magnet wire. <clears throat> this looks like number 24 to 26. A uh, little bit bigger than the 22 on the EPG. It's probably 24 or 26. And uh, yeah, driving down the street. And I got uh, 720 feet of wire. Um, what I was going to show you too is the best way to get this tape off. There's two ways of doing it. I kind of like both. They both have their goods and bads. One thing you can do is make yourself a tape ball. I have one in, in my house that's about the size of a softball. Alright. Take your tape ball. And you just do this. It takes a while. It's tedious. But you get a bigger ball, it's a lot easier. And you can just unwrap it. And actually, I've actually used some tape off this once before. Because it's pretty good tape. Now, some of it's really, really nasty. And when you run into those really nasty ones, before it, well, yeah, I'll tell you that first. Before you uh, try to untape one of those really sticky, sticky, nasty ones, because you'll find them. Um, what you can do is get yourself like a five gallon bucket and uh, get some solvent of some kind. Most solvents will not eat the wire, the shielding off the, off the wire. Get you some solvent, get you like a five gallon bucket, put you that whole, this whole entire thing in the bucket of solvent, okay? And then let it sit for days, weeks, months if you'd like. And when you come back, the, the tape sometimes, not always, but sometimes it'll just fall off. And all the sticky stuff will be gone. 
And then what I do is come back and take a rag with solvent on it and just wipe it like this and get all that sticky. Because if you if you can't see the sticky, you can see it. It's see the sticky all over. You want to try to get that sticky stuff off. There's not really a good way of doing it. So you take solvent and just keep rubbing this wire. When you get all the tape off, all right, you can actually just kind of straighten all this wire out real nice and big spool and lay it on the ground, okay? And un untangle the first piece. And once you get it to where you can see it starting to unwrap, then you can just, uh, like I usually hold a spool, and just wrap it like this, and it, the wire will just spool right off the ground, right onto your spool, and you're done. It's the easiest way of doing it. Uh, you can get it in a big tangled mess, and it's not very easy to untangle. The other option is to find you a big grass field or concrete something with, uh, maybe not concrete, maybe like a grass field or something, and literally take it like this, tie it on something or whatever, and just walk, and just keep stringing it. String it down 100, you know, 720 feet, or wrap it back and forth, and then come back and spool it up. I've done that too. Um, one thing I was going to show you, but I can't find the spool that I was going to show you. Oh, here it is. Okay, so one thing I was going to show you is you, you have another option. If you don't want to take these apart, I recommend you do so you can actually use the wire. But if you don't want to take them apart, all right, here's another big one. What you can do is, let's say you want to make a, a coil around something, like let's say a Bendini window motor, okay, for instance. Just take your wire, all right, and it can get be kind of tricky, you know, and, and if you got a window motor of some sort, you can take it like this and like I said I don't really recommend this but you know some people that don't want to take time to undo the wire all right so now you've got yourself and you can you can get this nice and straight you know make it all nice and even and straighten it out and so forth and so on now what you can do is wrap tape around it or something but then you've got yourself a nice coil all right um, you, know, you got these knots and stuff, you kind of got to try to get them out, but that's one other option for you if you don't want to try to unwrap it. I recommend you unwrapping it. I recommend using solvent. Um, I can't recommend to type. Just get some solvent uh, and uh, try it and see if it works. If it don't work, you know, whatever. If you do put it in a five-gallon bucket of some sort, make sure you close it because if you just leave it open, it's all going to evaporate and it's going to be real bad. So that's it. I'm out. I just want to add that onto the end here. Have a good day. I've been up for way too many hours this week doing this. But I've had fun, and uh, I'm, enjoying, enjoying, I'm enjoying myself, and uh, took my daughter out last time. It was great fun. She had a blast. We went out yesterday, too, for a little bit, but it was too early. Didn't find a whole lot. Found a mirror yesterday, though. But that's it. Have a good day. God bless you all. See you.